AITA for expressing my frustration in family therapy, I'm a 16-year-old guy currently in family therapy with my dad, his wife, my sister, 14, and my three step-siblings, 10, 9, and 7. Our blended family is still pretty new, as my dad remarried two years ago. My mom passed away, so I only have one home now. To be honest, I wasn't too excited about the whole blended family situation, but I understand it's not up to me. All three of my step-siblings have food allergies, and two of them have more severe ones. Because of this, the way we eat has changed a lot. This includes the places we used to go for special occasions. For most of my life, we had this tradition of eating at a local noodle place to celebrate the end of the school year or other big moments like school plays or graduations. But now, because of the allergies, we can't go there anymore, even if it's just my dad and me. We also can't have ice cream in the house because my step-siblings can't eat it. My dad and his wife are the only ones allowed to prepare food now, so I can't even make a sandwich for myself. Birthdays are different, too. My sister and I can no longer go to our favorite restaurants because of my step-siblings' dietary restrictions. We can't even bring my favorite dish into the house. Instead, we celebrate at places my step-siblings like, where the food is safe for their allergies. For two years, my dad has been saying how happy we all are to make these changes because family is worth it. A few months ago, my dad's wife noticed that my sister and I weren't really engaging with the family the way she expected. We didn't want to talk to her much, and my sister had even cut out pictures of us with the whole family and used only the ones of me and her for her room's art wall. So, my dad and his wife decided that we needed family therapy. We've been in therapy for about two months now, and it's mostly been about talking through the problems. My dad keeps mentioning how great blended families are and how happy we all are with the changes. Well, last week, the therapist asked if I was really okay with everything, and I just couldn't hold it in anymore. I told the truth, no, I'm not okay with it. I don't like the changes. I said it feels unfair that I never got a say in anything. I didn't want my step-siblings to take over my birthday plans, and I'd much rather spend my birthday enjoying my favorite foods and celebrating with the people I love. I also said I hate not being able to make a simple sandwich or grab snacks after school. I ended up venting for most of the session, answering questions from the therapist in between. My dad is really upset with me for doing this, and his wife is also upset because her kids overheard everything. She's also upset that I took over the whole therapy session with my rant. Ita, 